Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Please uh, think about hitting that like, subscribe, and leaving a comment if you've been uh, liking the videos or finding them useful in any way. I really appreciate it. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a viewer's question real quick. This shouldn't be very long at all. Uh, is uh, grid line is not clearly saw, uh, just uh, like what's in mind i guess uh how can you change to show the grid clear right uh so that's a interesting question i really not sure you can adjust these grid lines uh now if you're talking about you know like my curves uh when i lay them out there uh, when i'm in a normal view right they're thin but when i go to a wireframe they get thicker uh, that is a different question uh, and i will go into a little bit more as far as some options and things that you should probably think about uh here later on real quick so let's talk about this first so the first thing you need to do is go down to your command line and type in options uh, and then hit enter, right? Uh, and then down here at the bottom uh, where it says view, just click on it and then go to display modes uh, and click it so that it drops down. See, I just have mine set on wire. If I go to any other view, uh, it'll go back to the very thin line, right? So I click on uh, wire here. And if you go here into objects, uh, you can choose different options and they all pretty much the same. You can enlarge them, make them smaller or whatever. But if I go to curves here, uh, you can see my curve width is set at four. I think the default is a two which is around this size here i just made mine a little larger for the videos and i like to be able to see my uh, curves inside my wireframe a little bit easier uh, so that's why i i made them uh, larger uh, but that's how you uh, do the the you know the line curve thickness if that's what you're talking about if not uh, let's close these out uh, so we're back to our normal thing. If you go up here to grid, right, uh, you have the option of, actually, let's turn this off and go to all viewports so you can see, and we'll fan them out a little bit. Uh, now we'll go back down. I'll just right click and go to options. Uh, if you go to your options and go to grid, you have uh, many other options here, right? Uh, you can change things to, right now I'm in my uh, top viewport, so it'll change in those. It'll change just in those if I click this. Uh, if I click on all viewports, it'll uh, make the changes in all. You can change the grid count to 100 <laughs> or, or however many you want. I think the default is 20 uh, for most of them and you can also sit the set the minor grid lines which are the little small ones inside the bigger boxes right how much how much you can switch them to millimeters or feet or uh, meters or uh, all different kinds of settings uh, in there and major lines uh every box is five millimeters so at 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter uh width as a grid but you can change that uh you can change the width or whatever show grid lines you can actually turn your grid lines off or turn them on uh right here in this box here uh show grid axis which will be your uh, red and uh, green lines but you can change those colors as well you can set those colors to any kind you want uh click those on or off and and then you can also show or not show your axis icon right here by turning that on and off and snap spacing you know you can set that to, i have a set it point but you can change it down here in your grid snaps as well okay uh so that's those two i think uh, let's see is there anything else uh if you go to i think it's uh what is it view where's view or uh, view oh, down, down here display modes no it's not really in there uh, i can't think of where oh maybe it's in the general modeling aids toolbars updates view display modes yeah i think that's all in here yeah let's get rid of that yeah, I think that's all we can do in here in this this particular one. But if you go to, to your toolbars here uh, and then, you know, get your uh, Rhino defaults out, 
uh, or your Rhino uh, options, your 16 bar standard tool group, and you click on that, and I already have it out there, it's already on. Uh, so it, I put it, snapped it up to the top, but it'll pop up if you click on that. Uh, it, it'll pop up if I can grab it here geez there we go it'll pop up like this so you can just move it and snap it to your top or wherever you want it if you go to options in here right and uh, you if you don't have it you can put in or take out anything you want by going in here and right here is display this is the one we're going to be talking about so I'll just take it out real quick so now it's it's not in here if you right click on any of these you can go to your display and then your display will be in there uh, you can you but you can load any of these options into your this uh, uh, properties panel panel right but we'll go to options here now there's a couple other things uh, you can do in here uh, grid settings and axis right grid on off just like the other one uh, C plane uh, on off X uh, you can set your X axis you can turn it on I think it's off by default but now we have it on out there uh world icon that's that one so you can do some options in here as well right uh but there is one i want to talk about and i have something i think i have a ring in here yeah right here uh and we'll change it to uh so we can see uh we have all our iso curves this is kind of like the normal thing but let's say you're doing a smart flow pattern or you, you maybe want to save some uh graphics card uh or you're doing flow sometimes it's good to turn off these uh, iso curves and edges uh so you can get a, your graphics cards not going to be using up a, a you know extra memory it doesn't have to it might load or update quicker for you that might be something but definitely when you do like a smart flow pattern you're going to save it to your library or whatever i would turn off your uh, uh iso curves in your edges uh just to make it a little easier for laying out things um but yeah i think that's really uh pretty much all you can do in there uh, and I think there, if you go to a view, uh, and let's see, viewport properties, uh, yeah, it'll load that box up for you too as well. And then you can go to the display if it's in there. Um, so I'm not sure that's what you're looking for, but if it is, please let me know. Uh, I, I really don't know uh, grid options uh, you can also go into grid options and change uh, things down here exactly uh, change the pretty much all the other other things that we've showed in the other items uh apply to active viewport you know just changing the grids uh but i don't think there's a way to get these any thicker or thinner uh, that i know of uh i'll try to do some more research but uh hopefully that will kind of uh answer your question uh, hope so let me know <laughs> thanks for uh watching and uh, good designing and take care